Avoid attempting to manually create your summary report under any circumstances. Instead try to generate dynamic summary report in Excel. Once I select the salesman name from the drop-down list, the intended customer ID and sales amount records are filtered dynamically. First, convert the data ranges into Excel table by pressing Ctrl and T key from your keyboard. Rename the table name. Use Excel unique function to filter distinct salesman names. Now the list is updating dynamically. Next, use data validation option to create the drop down list in cell L6. Now select the unique name list. As you can see, the drop down list not updating dynamically. Hence, we need modify the data validation rule. Again open the data validation window. Replace the specific salesman name range and select only the first cell and type hash character and click OK. Now the drop down list is updating dynamically. Next. I will use filter function to extract the customer ID for the intended salesman. Choose the customer ID column for array argument. For conditional include argument, select the salesman name column and equal to the filtered salesman name. But, wait. There is a smarter way. No need to develop formulas in each column anymore. We have a powerful alternative method that allows us to return both customer ID and sales amount simultaneously. By utilizing the filter function and the choose column formula, we can selectively return only the desired columns from the sales table. In this case, column number 3 represents the customer ID and column number 5 represents the sales amount. The conditional argument remains the same as before. Now, you can read multiple column filtering with just a single selection. If you prefer, like, and follow for more tips.